Good morning, I'm Ken Say and welcome to Dragon Track. Today we are summiting Mount Greylock, the highest peak in Massachusetts, and the highest peak I've been on on the AT. It's still dark this morning, it's only 5.30. Today mm, was a shorter day. I had planned to go to the shelter beyond Mount Greylock, by considering the climb I'd already done to get to this shelter and the climb I had to do to get up to Mount Greylock, I chose the shorter day. Today, the weather forecast predicts rain. And before I'd read that, I had planned to go to the campsite 11 miles away from here. But, I'd rather not hike in the rain or, or tent in the rain. So I'm stopping at the shelter 6.6 miles away from here, which means another short day. And I don't like that, but a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And some men might make a different decision, but that's mine, at least now. The uphill has started. This part of the AT has a bit of an enchanted forest vibe. Since approximately 0.3 miles back, I have now hiked more in the north than I did in the south. Woohoo! Go north. A little bit of a climb in the enchanted forest. That's obviously not its name, that's just what I call it. This is what the trail looks like this morning, or this portion on the trail at least. Water everywhere. Even running water or moving water right there. This is what I'm supposed to walk in, but Fortunately, the water isn't covering the entire trail, so I'm trying to walk around it. Ooh. But, it's getting wetter. Oh. Okay, let's see what we can do about walking on the very edge. I think that went well. Oh, a little bit of boardwalk. I'm going downhill now, and it's worse on this side. See a lot more wa wa water. This tells us that Mount Greylock is fairly popular. Appalachian Trail North to Summit, one mile foot only, day use parking only. So if you drive here, you can park over there and walk up. And I'm assuming you can drive that way all the way to the top or, or close to it. This looks pretty good. Calm, quiet. What's the adjective I'm looking for? But if you can think of the adjective I'm looking for of describing this place, let me know in the comments. Serene, maybe? No. This is the Gould Trailhead. The campground picnic area two miles away from here is closed, but the summit and Bascombe Lodge is that way. Visitor center is seven miles that way. And the Appalachian Trail goes this way. Greylock Summit in 0.4 miles. Wilbur S. Clearing Shelter 
in 3.9 miles. Is that where I'm supposed to sleep tonight? I wonder what this is. Um, we have this antenna type thing. I can see the lodge, but no, I'm not allowed to go that way. I have to go this way because this is the Appalachian Trail. An uninterrupted footpath from Springer Mountain, Georgia to Mount Katahdin, Maine. The trail and the summit may go that way, but the lodge and the water is here, and I need water. The lodge is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Today is a Tuesday, but I have heard there's water in the back. Oh, water! Woohoo! Do I have to filter that water, or, or can I drink it? Look at those views! I mean, uh, that, are those clouds or that smoke? I mean, looks like vapor is rising from the ground and sort of gathering in, in a cloud of smoke. Uh, and then there's that one area that sort of billows up above it like a hot air balloon or something. And then, then there are clouds even higher. But, oh, I love this view. This is awesome. This is so awesome. And do I dare drink it without filtering it? I might, but I'm not gonna. Now that I've gotten water and I'm back on the Appalachian Trail, let's head up the trail to the summit and the war memorial. Please do not climb on the relief map. Ooh! It's a map. Nice! Mount Greylock elevation 3,491 feet. The highest peak in Massachusetts. The highest peak I've been on on the Appalachian Trail. Can't say if it's the highest I've ever been because I don't know the elevation of all the places I've been to. This is the place to be. The summit, an island above the clouds, Mount Greylock State Reservation. This is so awesome! Mount Greylock Summit Historic District has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior, 1998. Okay, let's head north towards the summit, towards the war memorial. Can I read what it says? Okay. Erected by Massachusetts in grateful recognition of the loyalty and sacrifice of her sons and daughters in war. They were faithful even unto death. Take a deep breath and enjoy the view. I will. You are at the peak of the highest mountain in Massachusetts. Woohoo! The summit of Mount Greylock features the only subalpine environment in Massachusetts. Because of the high elevation and the westerly winds, there is a wide temperature range from winter to summer and from day to night. This summit is the centerpiece of the Mount Greylock State Reservation. Designated in 1898, Mount Greylock became the first state reservation in Massachusetts state forest and park system, established on less than 400 acres. The, the reservation has grown to nearly 12,000 acres. That's wonderful. Mount Greylock War Memorial Tower, open daily from 9.30 to 8.00 p.m., weather permitting. And it's open. And it's only 8.30. Awesome. Please be respectful of the quiet and enjoyment of this memorial chamber. 90 spiral steps and narrow 90 spiral steep and narrow steps to observation deck, no pets, food or drink allowed in tower. Children under 18 must be accompanied by an adult. Well, I climbed to the very top uh, as far as there are stairs and to the war memorial. I'm not gonna publish any 
recordings if I made any in there. That's something you have to see for yourself. I'm going to spend a little bit here. I mean, I have time. I'm only hiking like what? Three miles? Four miles? To shelter? Ooh, that winter picture is so cool! So cool! This is wheelchair accessible. Okay, I can't see anything now. It's just mist. Do you remember that cell phone tower I showed you the top off earlier? You mean that top that is hidden in the mist right now? <laughs> Do you know how happy I am that I was here early enough to get views today? Oh, that is so awesome. I'm so happy uh, for that. Right now, there are no views. Until today, I can't recall I've ever seen mist blowing in the wind like that. Is that what it felt like in Mistborn? I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning to get here before 9 to beat whatever crowds would show up. There are no crowds and there are no views. But there were views when I got here because I was up that early. And thank God for that. Leaving the summit, we're following the Appalachian Trail north. Mountains seem to have been built for the human race, as at once their schools and their cathedrals. John Ruskin. Look like the views are coming back. Still going down Greylock Mountain and this part of the trail almost looks like a swamp. I came to the shelter at 12 noon and uh, <coughs> some of you may remember that back south I got the advice or question that one day you will come to a shelter at noon. Will you stop at the shelter? The very next day I came to a shelter at noon and I continued. Now, a number of weeks later, I come to a shelter at noon and I'm staying. I could continue, absolutely. There, there is a campsite within reach and I could stop there for tonight. But... There is rain coming, or so they assume, and I prefer to be dry. Better safe than sorry. And on this blue blaze, this shelter is 0.3 miles off the trail and another 0.8 miles off the trail, we will find a waterfall. And who is searching for waterfalls? I am! Wow, waterfalls, they are looking fine. This, uh, the campsite I'm at is on a, is the first shelter north of the Mount Greylock. The shelter is 0.3 miles down uh, the Blue Blaze. And uh, this waterfall is another 0.8 miles down the same blue blade. Definitely worth seeing. The closer view of the same waterfall. Ah, it's just awesomeness. Definitely worth seeing. Hi, this is Editing Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.